Don't be get back here. Don't be. Please, no. Harry Potter must say he's not going back to school. I can't. Hogwarts is my home. Then Dobby must do it, sir. For Harry Potter's own good. And one plumber said, look at all that water. And the second plumber said, yes, and that's just the top of it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's my nephew. He's very disturbed. Meeting strangers upsets him. That's why I kept him upstairs. Come on. Come on, Harry. Come on, Harry. Hurry up. The journey is escaping. I'm good, Harry. Come here. Let go of me. Oh, no. <laughs> you and that bloody pigeon aren't going anywhere. Get off. Drive. Hey, drive. home. I think it's brilliant. Where have you been? Harry, how wonderful to see you, dear. Beds empty, no note, car gone. You could have died. You could have been seen. Of course, I don't blame you, Harry, dear. They were starving him, Mum. There were bars on his window. Well, you best hope I don't put bars on your window, Ronald Weasley. Come on, Harry. Time for a spot of breakfast. Here we are, Harry. Now tuck in. That's it. There we go. Um, Mummy, have you seen my jumper? Yes, dear, it was on the cat. Hello. <laughs> what did I do? Ginny, she's been talking about your summer. A bit annoying, really. Morning, Weasleys! Morning, Morning Sir. Sir. What a night. Nine raids. Nine! Raids? Dad works in the Ministry of Magic, in the Misuse of Muggle Artifacts office. Dad loves muggles. Thinks they're fascinating. Well now! <sighs> and who are you? Oh, sorry, sir. I'm Harry, sir. Harry Potter. Good Lord. Are you really? Well, Ron's told us all about you, of course. When did you get here? This morning, your sons flew that enchanted car of yours to Surrey and back last night. Did you really? How'd it go? Oh, oh, did you ever... I mean, that was very wrong indeed, boys. Very wrong of you. Now, Harry, you must know all about muggles. Tell me, what exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Oh, um... Well, that could be error with the post. <laughs> oh, fetch it, will you, Percy, please? Errol? He's always doing that. Percy, dear, don't be afraid. Come on. Come on. In you go. That's it, mind your head. That's right. Now take your flu powder. That's it. Very good. Now, don't forget to speak very, very clearly. Diagonally. What did he say, dear? Diagonally. I thought he did. <laughs> Too far. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Gilroy Lock. <gasps> Mum fancies here. You make way there, please. Let me by, madam. Thank you. Excuse me, little girl. This is for the Daily Prophet. It can't be Harry Potter. Harry!
family. Poncho! Excuse me, madam. Nice big smile, Harry. Together you and I rate the front page. Ladies and gentlemen, what an extraordinary moment this is. When young Harry stepped into Flourish and Blots this morning to purchase my autobiography, Magical Me. Which, incidentally, is currently celebrating its 27th week atop the Daily Profit bestseller list. He had no idea that he would, in fact, be leaving with my entire collected works free of charge. Oh. Now, ladies. Harry, yes, yes, now you give me those and I'll get them signed. All of you wait outside. That's it, John. Let's go. Doing. Sorry. Lost, lost control of the trolley. Now all we need to do is catch up with the train. We can't be far behind. Do you hear that? We must be getting close. Hold on. Scabbers, you okay? The car! That's gonna kill me. Take a good look, lads. This night might well be the last you spend in this castle. Oh, dear, we are in trouble. Not to mention the damage you inflicted on a whomping willow that's been on these grounds since before you were born. Honestly, Professor Snape, I think it did more damage to us. Silence! Say it. I'm doomed. You're doomed. Hi, Harry. I'm Colin Creevy. I'm in Gryffindor, too. Oh, hi, Colin. Nice to meet you. Ron, is that your owl? Bloody birds are menace. Oh, no. Look, everyone. Weasley's got himself a howler. <laughs> Go on, Ron. I ignored one from my gran once. It was horrible. Ronald Weasley! Steal that car! I am absolutely disgusted! Your father's now facing an inquiry at work, and it's entirely your fault! If you put another toe out of line, we'll bring you straight home! Oh, and Ginny, dear, congratulations on making Gryffindor. Your father and I are so proud.
Harry, Harry, Harry. Can you possibly imagine a better way to serve detention than by helping me to answer my fan mail? Not really. Fame is a fickle friend, Harry. Yeah. Who would like to go first? Ah, Mr. Weasley. One, two, three, Ferraverto. <clears throat> Ferroverto. <laughs> that wand needs replacing, Mr. Weasley. Thank you. Are you okay? No. I think my I think my arm's broken. Not to worry, Harry. I will fix that arm of yours straight away. Oh. Not you. Oh, poor boy. He doesn't know what he's saying. Now, this <clears throat> won't hurt a bit. Brachium. Emendo. Oh. 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 Ah, yes. Well, uh, that can sometimes happen. Um, but uh, the point is, uh, you can no longer feel any pain. And <laughs> very clearly, the bones are not broken. Broken? There's no bones left. Oh. Much more flexible, though. Mr. Malfoy, stop making such a fuss. You can go. Out of my way. Out of my way. You should have been brought straight to me. I can mend bones in a heartbeat, but growing them back... You will be able to, won't you? Oh, I'll be able to, certainly. But it'll be painful. You're going for a rough night, Potter. Regrowing bones is a nasty business. <laughs> well, what do you expect? Pumpkin juice? Gather round! <laughs> Gather round. Can everybody see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent. In light of the dark events of recent weeks, Professor Dumbledore has granted me permission to start this little dueling club to train you all up in case you ever need to defend yourselves, as I myself have done on countless occasions for full details, see my published works. <laughs> Let me introduce my assistant, Professor Snape. He has sportingly agreed to help me with a short demonstration. Now, I don't want any of you youngsters to worry. You'll still have your potions, Master, when I'm through with him. Never fear. Three. Expelliarmus. Do you think he's all right? Who cares? An excellent idea to show them that, Professor Snape, but if you don't mind me saying, it was pretty obvious uh, what you were about to do. And if I had wanted to stop you, it would have been only too easy. Perhaps it would be prudent to first teach the students to block unfriendly spells, Professor. An excellent suggestion, Professor Snape. Uh, let's have a volunteer pair. Um, yeah, Potter, Weasley, how about you? Weasley's wand causes devastation with the simplest spells. We'll be sending Potter to the hospital wing in a matchbox. Might I suggest someone from my own house? Malfoy, perhaps? Good luck, Potter. Thank you, sir. One's at the ready. Scared, Potter. You wish. On the count of three, Cast your charms to disarm your opponent, only to disarm. We don't want any accidents here. One. 
two. Evasion statue! I said disarm only. Seven sort here. Don't move, Potter. I'll get rid of it for you. Allow me, Professor Snape. Volate ascendere! Vipera Ivanaska. Professor Dumbledore, sir. Wait. Listen. Professor Dumbledore, sir. It wasn't Harry. Hagrid. In fact, I'd be prepared to swear in front of the Ministry of Magic. Hagrid! Relax. I do not believe that Harry attacked anyone. Well, of course you don't. And... Oh. Oh, right. Well, I'll, um... <clears throat> I'll just wait outside, then. Yeah. That was close. Hermione, come out. We've got loads to tell you. Go away! <gasps> wait till you see. It's awful. <laughs> Hermione? Uh, are you okay? Do you remember me telling you that the Apologies potion was only for human transformations? It was cat hair I plucked off Millicent Bulstrobe's robes. Look at my face. <laughs> Look at your tail. Come on. What? You heard what Hagrid said. Follow the spiders. They're heading into the dark forest. Why, spiders? Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? Also, in light of the recent events, as a school treat, all exams have been cancelled. Okay. <laughs> 